Have you ever asked yourself, why is there a forest here and a grass in there? Why do we see so many flowers in one place and so few in another one? Are these plant communities even stable? Can they recover from disturbances? These type of questions are not only fascinating, they are important in times when humankind is changing the world in so many ways and we need to protect nature. So how can we answer these type of questions? As a student, my approach was going to the field to do field experiment. I went to nature and added a fertilizer or removed the dominant species. But nowadays, my students and I are using a different approach. We take nature and put it inside a box. What I mean is that we grow different type of plants within large containers and let them interact. In one of our experiments, what we do is manipulate the initial composition. We are sowing different type of plants in the different containers and see what happens over time. If plant communities become more and more and more similar, it means that they are attracted to the equilibrium. It means that they are stable. They can bounce back from any type of disturbances. But what happens if they just become more and more and more different? It means that they are unstable. It means that they cannot bounce back from disturbances. Any disturbance is irreversible. So you see, these boxes are a great tool to understand the processes in small scale. But what about the large scale? For the large scale, we need a different approach. We need to collect data from any possible source. Together with colleagues, we collected data for more than 200 million plants to build a world map of plant traits. We can classify plants into annual plants, living one year only, versus perennial plants, living many years. In Israel, for example, half of the plants are annuals and half of the plants are perennials. But worldwide, perennials are the majority. Annuals are only 6%. Using this big data, we found what is the general principle. Annuals are favored in places with hot and dry summer, like California, like the Middle East, but they are very rare in places with a lot of rainfall or in places like cold deserts. So we have this new finding. This exciting finding opened the door to new questions about the underlying processes. We need an experiment again, where we take nature and put it inside a box.